Good morning, America. We are here today to greet our nine Olympic heroes from the University of Washington. Last week at the 1936 Berlin Olympics, the UW crew team won gold over the tight competition of Italy and the home favorite, Germany. Here with us, we have three esteemed professionals who held the boat playing gold. Joe Rance, the crew's third seat, Al Alberson, the head coach of the University of Washington varsity crew, and George Pocock, boat building maestro and key assistant to Alberson. Let's send it over to Maddie, who is with Alberson right now. Maddie? Here we have the award-winning varsity crew coach from the University of Washington, Al Ulbrichsen. Can you describe for us what it feels like to be the, fastest, the coach of the fastest boat in the world? Well, it feels amazing, Maddie. I'm not a man of many words, but I'm indeed proud of how my boys performed in their race. So your boys started out as a national powerhouse as freshmen, correct? Well, Maddie, let me say Rome wasn't built in a day. The boys had the strength and the motivation at Poughkeepsie their first year, but struggled with the pepper after that. Brands, let's go! You need more pepper in those push-ups! Put some power on! Use the muscles! Come on, Rance. Let's go! Push! Push yourself, Rance! Oh, Come coach. on! Give me 50 more! <laughs> You're nothing for this team. See, they were in an interesting position. They knew they were good to be successful, but I had to put them in their place, and they fought their way from the bottom back to the top. Go! Move! Faster! Faster! Let's go! Move! Move! Let's go! Great, great speed, great speed. Let's go! Move! Show me 110! Move! Move! Come on, Rex! Move! Were you confident going into that race? I have full faith that my boys get everything they had. But I sent them onto the water with no doubt that every boy would pull to the best ability. So, you're hitting your peak during the Great Depression. How do the nation's economic troubles affect your opportunities? Hmm. Even after our victory at Poughkeepsie, our presence at the Olympics was, you know, uncertain at best. But, as many of you are aware, the American Olympic Committee was on a tight budget. To many, it seemed logical to send a financially stable U Penn team to take our spot. Luckily, we found support and we were able to bring gold to Seattle. We are so glad that you did. Congratulations once again, and enjoy your celebration. Back to Christine. Here with me is third seat in the U.S. crew team, Joe Rance. How excited are you to have helped your team win gold? Since we were freshmen, the nine of us have worked together as one unit, winning together and losing together. I'm so happy to have participated in our win against Italy and Germany. God bless America. You seem to embody a type of rags to riches taste, isn't that right? Well, I like to think that. With some help, I've been able to raise myself up and find success. Being left by my father, stepmother, and step-siblings at an early age, I learned how to fend for myself and stay focused on surviving. Later, moving into my estranged older brother, I was able to find a place at school and on the gymnastic team until I was approached by Albrechtson and asked to go to, the U to, ask to, go to UW and try out the crew. And how has the crew team at UW helped you, help you feel like you fit in? Growing has been a sanctuary for me. It has allowed me to meet people I can identify with. Never before have I felt so connected with a group of people. Nothing. You're a mistake. You were adopted. Rats, you're good for nothing. My grandmother can pull better numbers than you. Don't say that, coach. You're nothing but lank. No muscle. Sorry. Thank God. Might as well be in the tennis team. We prove our loyalty to each other every day. We are aware that there is some hard competition for you on the water. Would you give us some insight on Washington's greatest rivals? The University of California, Berkeley has been a longtime rival of Washington. They sent their boys to the 1932 Olympics for crew and were dead set on repeating that in 1936. Luckily, we were able to edge them out at the end. We also had competition on our own team at the university. 
especially in our sophomore year, the atmosphere became tense in the boathouse with the other varsity boat that was equally as good. Although Alberson's gut told him to keep our boat in varsity, he eventually made the other boat, the varsity crew at Poughkeepsie that year. We had to become even better the following year to secure a spot as number one. It looks like you boys have overcome a lot of obstacles to win at the Berlin Olympics. Congrats once again. Back to Maddie. We have here with us George Pocock the British boat building expert whose insight was crucial to Washington's success. How excited are you to bring home the gold? I uh, never thought I would have made it here. Ever since I started making these fine vessels in 1911 at Vancouver, it's been a dream to make it this far. So, how did you know that boat building was your calling? Well, rowing has always been my passion. Starting out in England, I had the opportunity to master the art of rowing. I soon connected my passion for career with the craftsmanship of boat making. UW was kind enough to offer me a part of their boathouse that allowed me to pursue my dreams of making faster and better racing shells. And I think after incorporating cedar into my boats, I've come close to perfecting the art. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good stuff. Get it all on the side, all on the side. That, that's when it's good, that's when it's good. Yes, 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 yes. How do you think that you have revolutionized rowing for the UW crew and many other colleges? Well, I take pride in the boats I make. Over the years, they have come to be the fastest in the nation. And nice enough, flat, more aerodynamic. There we can, uh, we can repair the loophole. She's ready. Especially with all eyes on Washington, my shells head the spotlight. Now I'm proud to say I sell my crafts to crews all over the nation. So what connections do you most cherish that were forged at <clears throat> UW? Hal Albertson has proved to be both an accomplished coach and a great friend of mine. My wife and I often have dinner with him and his wife for years while he was the head coach, where our endless conversations about rowing often resulted in the exchange of ideas and also trust. I'm grateful to have spent so much time with him over the years. Thank you for coming out to talk to us. And congratulations once again. Back to Christine. And there we have it. A great end to the UW crew team's adventure in Germany. It seems that they had a memorable time in Berlin. Wouldn't you say so, Maddie? Definitely, Christine. Thank God for that Joseph Goebbels, Hitler's right-hand man, convinced him to host the Berlin Olympics. It was a great way for Germany to publicize their nationalism after World War I, and Berlin seemed clean and welcoming to all countries. You could say it's a miracle. Thank you for tuning into this broadcast. Catch us tomorrow for new more news on the Olympics.